let's talk about hepatic encephalopathy it is a reversible neurological manifestation in severely severely damaged liver the symptoms vary from sleep rhythm to coma pathogenesis is severely damaged rhythm as there is portal system portal vein as there is portal circulation without the function of the liver the toxins produced in the intestine intestine are directly directly poured into inferior vena cava toxins such as ammonia um toxins such as ammonia amino butyric acid amino acid amino butyric acid amino acid and fatty acid are poured into circulation as poured into circulation through inferior vena cava into inferior vena cava and are poured into and are poured into systemic circulation this circulation the blood glow goes into the brain and causes neurologic manifestations neurological manifestations most common toxin that affects brain is ammonia now let us see about clinical features clinical features mostly the disease cannot be the disease cannot uh, be clinically recognized early early recognition recognition of the disease is not possible clinically due to di- due to disturbance in the liver metabolism there is alteration of sleep rhythm this alteration in the sleep rhythm leads to night time awakefulness and daytime drowsiness and it also causes al confusion mild to severe confusion euphoria dementia easy lethargy easy lethargy and uh, speech disturbance and coma investigations and on examination on examination on examination we can see that there are flapping tremors they are flapping tremors and patient unable unable to draw simple diagrams such as a star and the condition is hyperreflexia and by the we can observe hyperreflexia hyperreflexia in patients and investigations are first one is diagnostic of clinical features after the clinical features serum ammonia is to be serum ammonia levels serum ammonia levels and electro eeg electroencephalogram there we can see normal alpha waves but uh, but eventual development of delta waves normal alpha waves but eventual 
development of delta waves and serum electrolytes right such as creatinine glucose urea are done and brain imaging studies brain imaging studies such as ct and mri treatment include first one is lac lactulose lactulose given orally 30 ml for 3 to 4 times a day the dose should be then titered so that 2 to 3 soft tools per day are produced lactulose is non absorbable synthetic disaccharide it is digestible it is digested by the bacteria in the colon in short chain fatty acid resulting in acidification of the colon contents and this acidification favors formation of ammonium ion from ammonia ammonium ion is not absorbed and excreted in the stool lactulose also inhibit intestinal bacteria by formation of acidic environment lactulose can be given rectally in retention anemia the other treatment is rifaxin rifaxin 400 mg 3 times a day which controls ammonia production by intestinal bacteria this controls ammonia production production by intestinal bacteria third one is opioids and other sedatives are avoided and flumaxanil flumaxanil it's a benzodiazepine benzodiazepine agonist effective in some patient with hepatic encephalopathy and chronic refract refractory in chronic cases and chronic refractory hepatic failure liver transplant and this is the answer to be written if the question is hepatic encephalopathy